Hello everybody, my name is Slender Unicorn. I am a creator of an indie animated series called Rainbow Emo. And in Rainbow Emo, there are four main characters, Regina, Berries, Red, and Scarlette. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing the character designs behind these four main characters and the inspirations I took when designing them. Disclaimer, Berries was designed by my friend at Pixel Inc who will be giving a short commentary about the design later on in the video. But for now, let's move on to Regina's design. Regina is a candy fairy who died in the 1940s, and she is shy with a golden heart. Now, given the fact that she's a candy fairy, I took heavy inspiration from 1940s Japanese fashion with the pink trench coat and the lamp tail. Lamps are often used to trap fairies, so I thought that maybe it would be pretty cool if she had a little bit of a light that represented what she would be trapped in. I added chocolate dripping down her French coat because I thought it would give her a little bit of some illusion that she is a candy fairy. I gave her these modern shoes because I really like platformers and character design, so that's what I tried to go for. When it comes to character design, you while you do have to choose a character design that fits with the character, you also need to add aesthetics that fit to you. Because if it doesn't appeal to you, it doesn't necessarily mean it's appealing to the audience you're attracting to. The inspiration from other characters that I took with this design were Jinx from Arcane because of the braids and Miss Bloomy from Fundamental Paper Education. In her magical form, I tried to give her a little bit of a taffy S dress. And I turned her little chocolate dripping into an M&M style necklace. I gave her this gumdrop tattoo because I thought it would be really cool. Plus, I don't really draw tattoos very often. And that's basically everything about Regina you need to know. Now moving on to Berries and Cream. Berries and Cream, like I said before earlier in the video, was designed by my friend at Pixel Inc. So I'm gonna let her do the commentary on this design and let you watch the speed paint. Disclaimer, I drew the reference sheet. Mercury just did the design. Okay, hi, um, my name is Mercury. If you don't know me, I've been an employee on Slender Studios and a friend of Slender for a while now. Um, I was asked to do the voiceover um, character design commentary for um, this character, Berries and Cream, because um, I was the one to do the initial design. Um, so um, I've been asked to just basically walk you through desi the design and the design process and stuff. So, um, yeah, basically, um, when I was designing this character, initially he was gonna be based more off of strawberries, like pink and red, and, like, warmer, like, reddish colors, basically, things in, like, the red family, um, but eventually I was told to make him indigo, so I said, like, okay, I can make him indigo, and it became still that same sort of color scheme, but now he had indigo skin, and was also more, like, it was more of a cool color side of things but i really enjoyed designing this character i really liked making his hat the hat was like the main thing that made me want to design the character i thought it'd be cute and i've always wanted to draw a hat like that like i just think it'd be really silly and fun um the design was inspired by really nothing in particular um the tooth gap was um, just based off of my teeth at the time, I had, like, sort of a tooth gap, I have braces now, so it's, like, correcting itself, I guess, but I liked portraying that side of things in his character, um, later with the magical form, which wasn't designed by me, there was more inspiration taken from, I believe, the warden from Super Jail, um, which is understandable, I mean, Bro's a pretty cool character, I'm not gonna lie, um, but yeah, I really am proud of how the, des the design turned out. I think it's pretty good, and I think it's aged pretty well. Um, but yeah, I appreciate getting an opportunity to design a character for the show. I appreciate being on the show. And yeah, thank you for listening. Thank you so much for the commentary, Mercury. Um, now, Barry's design is here. And yes, he was inspired by the warden from Super Jail with his magical form. Now moving on to Red. For Red's character, she was originally a World War II soldier and she died in the 1940s just like Regina did. Now for Red's character design, I wanted to go for a little bit of a Korean fashion since unlike Regina, she's Korean and Sweden. I wanted to 
give the implication that she had a soldiery attitude and that she was also really pretty. Her magical form may not suit her pyrokinetic abilities, but there's an explanation for this which will be in the full show. But to summarize it, she's part of the coven and the leader of the coven chooses all the uniforms. You'll learn more about her in future videos, but the leader of the coven just shows the outfits for her, outfit for her because she thought it would look really pretty on her. Now, as for inspirations behind the character design, I did, there's not a lot. The only real inspiration I did take was also another Super Jail character, that being the twins. Last but certainly not least, we'll be covering Scarlette. Scarlette is mischievous and snarky, and she manipulates leaves. That gives her foliokinesis. Now, for Scarlette, I wanted to go a little bit like she's related to Red because she is Red's sister. I wanted to go for a little bit of a curvy build with her and make her a little bit more extra pretty than Red, and also give her the, a little bit of a mischievous side. I gave her different colored eyes because I thought it would be a really cool idea if one of the characters had heterochromia, and I think it looks pretty cool on, on her. I did also take happy inspiration from Korean fashion, and she was also inspired by the Techno Twins from Super Jail. By the way, disclaimer and advice for characters, if you want to base a character design off of a char character that you're interested in, interested in, that's okay to do that. Just don't make a direct copy of the character. Add some, add some differences to them so that way this de your design can stand out. But it's okay to take inspiration from others. We're all inspired by something and that's what I did with this design. And this is Scarlett Hayes' design, and she's one of my favorite designs ever. Probably my favorite character in general.